Craig said you were still here. I'm kind of in the middle of things. I knew my parents were going to freak out when they found out I was gay. So I freaked out and broke up with you, which maybe was kind of irrational. Yeah, well... You know, the second time in two weeks that I told you I didn't want a relationship. So I can see how you might think there's a bit of a pattern being established here and how um, trying a third time might not be a really high percentage move. And ever since, I've had this feeling that maybe I screwed up a really great thing by being, you know, a bit of a fuss budget. And if that's true, then I feel really lousy about it. And that's what I came to say. And maybe you could say something now so I stop blithering like an idiot. What the hell is a fuss budget? <laughs> or should I know? <laughs> I really missed you. Yeah. <laughs> so, what's gonna happen? With the rest of our lives? How about the rest of spring break? Okay, so we're cool. How about everyone else? Gil and Aaron will return home to find themselves in truly humongous trouble. They will be grounded for the next seven years. But it will have been worth it. Stevie and Shannon will go camping at Golden Ears Park. And they'll spend three days in a tent getting rained on. Wayne and AJ will buy matching dog collars. And keep drinking non-alcoholic beer. Craig will continue to pursue lost causes. Including Annika. Where you see me in my prom dress. Jen and Chris will have coffee. This will go well, so they'll have lunch. They're now contemplating dinner. Followed by breakfast. Don't get ahead of yourself, Laidlaw. 